Meredith was born December 5th, 2003, and when she was being born, she had a lack of oxygen, and at five days of age, we learned that she had suffered a severe brain injury. And as a result, Meredith was diagnosed with severe cerebral palsy, and since birth, she has been uh, fed by a feeding tube that goes into her stomach. Meredith has uh, round-the-clock care, and uh, as a result of the cerebral palsy, she also has other medical uh, issues that affect her. You're gonna take her? Sure. That orbit says off. She is held constantly for 15 hours a day. Let's go in the chair. Okay. Our biggest challenge probably is getting Meredith to use a chair. Hey. You're doing Look a at good you. job. Look at you in the big girl no, chair. Wait. This problem is a result of her brain injury and she also suffers from anxiety. And because she was held for most of her young life um, due to medical conditions like reflux, she got used to being held. We hold all 28 pounds of her constantly. Mommy can sing a song and say, when you have a child like Meredith, you have to be very patient when it comes to um, the things that most parents, I think, take for granted. Did I see a smile? The first time we heard her laugh uh, was just this past August, 2007, and she was three years and eight months old. And I was tickling her on her chest, and she started to giggle. And um, I think that was probably the happiest moment that we've had in all of her life. It took us three and a half years to hear her laugh, but it was worth the wait. We feel that it is a privilege uh, that we have been entrusted with Meredith. And I feel very lucky to have a partner like Tim, who is a father that is as involved as I am and can do all of the care that is required of Meredith. That one's bugging you, bud. We were told Meredith had a short life expectancy in October of 2006. They told us that um, they expected she would live to be around eight years old. So as a result, we were referred to Roger's house. The thing about Roger's house that we noticed immediately is that every single person that works there has just been fantastic and caring and kind and very empathetic and will do anything to make um, the parents and other family members feel very uh, welcomed. There's probably some air in your belly. Let's see. It can be a place of relief for families like ours. When you're caring for a family member um, that is as complex as Meredith, um, sometimes you just need to have more than, uh, you know, shift work relief. And eventually, Roger's House will be a place where we can bring Meredith uh, know that she has 24-hour nursing care for a weekend or longer. For us right now, I think that the main thing that we use it for is when Meredith it seems to be in pain and we are not sure why, we can take Meredith to Roger's house for observation and the staff there can um, observe her for a few days and hopefully help us to figure out what might be causing her distress. I just want to say thank you to the Ottawa Senators, the staff and volunteers and everyone involved with Rogers House uh, for helping make our lives a little bit easier. It means uh, more than you could ever know and uh, we are truly grateful. <laughs>